guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I'm gonna be doing something a little bit different. I've been spring cleaning both upstairs and in my studio, and I have a bunch of old paint that's been mixed up. Some old and some newer, just from the, the tests I've been doing with the Infinity. So I'm not quite sure what is in these paints, <laughs> but I've been using them up by just practicing different techniques utilizing the you know these paint the, these products. Uh, swipes and practicing with my hair dryer and all that good stuff and I I wanted to do a quick video and just have some fun with that in mind so you will see my favorite colors again I have a lot of the <laughs> red the red gold the purple and the aqua but I'm gonna throw in another color just to mix it up just a little <laughs> actually it's kind of similar to the blue so maybe it not might not be so mixed up but let's go have some fun anyway all right, this is a 12 inch round that I got from Hobby Lobby. And the pillow I am going to use is my normal, the Glidden Premium in Eggshell. Uh oh, I don't want that. <laughs> I try to, um, when I, when I put my paint in these 32 ounce containers, I only fill them once and then I let them sit to dry and peel it out and, you know, you can reuse it, but I try to only, I don't just refill it a few times because <laughs> like that, uh, string of dried paint you just saw me dig out, um, that can happen if you keep refilling it a time or two, you'll, you'll eventually find chunks in there. Uh, from dried paint that's on the, the side of the canister. And the reason I know that is because it's from experience. <laughs> and I'm just gonna let this spread just a little bit more. All right. Now, the colors, I told you that <laughs> my favorite colors are making another appearance again. It's these guys here. The uh, Diaxazine Purple, the Aqua, both Joe Sonia, and then the Red Gold, uh, the Atelier Interactive. And I'm also going to throw in, I have already mixed up the this little piggy mermaid. I'm not sure what any of them are mixed up with. So I didn't put a pouring medium in because this is just a quick, fun little video of doing something completely different just with old paint. So if you have a bunch of old paint mixed around or sitting around that that you just don't want to use in your normal bloom and not sure what to do and you don't quite want to don't don't quite want to throw them out i'm learning to just try new things with it or you know just just use them up that way just have some fun with them so the first one i'm going to lay down is the orange and this one is definitely darker than the other one i've got two so I don't have a lot left in this one here, but I had another one ready for this very reason. <laughs> and it's a bit lighter and thicker, so we're just going to roll with it, see what happens. And then I think I'm going to put this mermaid down next. And then the aqua. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. It can turn out really, really cool or really, really bad. We're going to find out together. And, oops, I've got a chunk of something in there. And now I'm going to put down, I've got the purple. and a few bubbles that I need to pop that's a big one all right and the cell activator I'm going to use is just my normal uh, Amsterdam Ox Amsterdam oxide black uh, it's mixed about four to one 
I just eyeballed it, but usually I start with about four to one. And if, if it's, if you feel like it's too thin, then you can add some more paint. Or if you feel like it's too thick, then just add some more Floetrol. But this one is roughly about four to one. And I just have it in this container because it's easier to lay out this way. And I'm a bit newer to laying out colors and doing swipes and all that kind of thing, which is why I'm practicing. I may be putting too much color down, but we're going to find out. And I'm going to be using my Yeho dryer with the attachment, so it's going to get loud for a minute. to go off yet. Let's, let's do something with this. Just a little. Hopefully my head wasn't in the way. I didn't change views because I wasn't going to be actually blowing it out too much with my mouth. I, I wanted you to be able to see how I was uh, using the hair dryer. Some of this is going to get tilted and spun off. I think that looks pretty good. Alright, I'm going to bring this over to the spinner box. We're going to tilt it and spin it a little bit and see what happens. Alright. I think I'm going to add just a little bit of pillow on that side, on those two sides, just to get it to go over. Everywhere else I've got plenty of paint on, but just right there. It's just a little bit of help. I don't know why. I just feel like it does. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of paint on there. Oh, I think I want to go this way. I'm going to tilt off just a little and then I'll spin the rest. Not very good at tilting. <laughs> I'm out of practice. Let's just put it that way. But let's see what we make of this. So 
I'm digging that. Mm, let's see. I'm gonna bring that down just a little. Because I want to keep some of the orange. I know if I keep the purple all the way in the middle when I spin it out, that's what's gonna remain. I'd like to keep some of the other colors. So let's not spin this too fast. Glad I did that. I don't, I don't have too much paint on my spinner to anchor it. So <laughs> trying not to let it slide off my spinner. But that looks really neat. I think we're almost there with this. Turned out better than I thought it would. Let's go this way just a little. There we go. Baby spin. Could I just wreck that now? Actually. Pattern's kind of cool. I'm all right. <laughs> I thought I stuck my finger on the side. All right, that's that's kind of cool. It's got some nice bling in there too from the mermaid. Let's see, I think I got enough paint off too. It's not really wiggling around. Plenty on the sides. cleaned up and I will bring you over the for the flyover of this one. Here's the flyover of this guy. I love it. I love that I added the the mermaid with these three colors. It kind of added a a nice sparkle right there. It kind of peeks out. I think this went well. This went well. <laughs> Almost looks like an angel wing right there. That's so cool. Fingers crossed it dries well. Because I have no idea what the pouring, what, if there's different, I'm assuming there's different pouring mediums in here with these. So hopefully they dry well. Usually all the pouring mediums I use, the bases I use, they, they work well together. So Fingers crossed. I will be back to show you the dried results as soon as it's dry. I'll be back in a minute. And I'm back to do, to show you the dried results of the piece you just saw me do, and it dried beautifully. I did have one tiny little crack that I must have left a little bit too much paint on. Right there it is, right up there. But <laughs> And there apparently was some bear in the mix because you see how glossy it is? That is bear. So... Bear, the bear base was in there somewhere. I just don't know if it was uh, Glidden, Infinity, <laughs> what varnish I use. These were just older paints. I'm sure some of it was the Infinity and Joe Sonia or Minwax or Polycrylic. <laughs> it's one of those, but this just dried really beautiful and it has a nice subtle shimmer to it. I don't know if I'm in a resin or uh, or varnish it or just leave it because it is ha it does have a nice gloss to it I I don't know that I, no I, I have I have varnished I'm trying to think of how big of a, of a um, resin piece I've done before uh, I haven't done too big I have done 12 inch though it's a little nerve-wracking for me but I'm trying to get it get it all in just gorgeous so that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you something fun that you can do with maybe older paints that you've had sitting around and you don't want to just throw them away. You can try a new technique or just have fun with it. So with that, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.